I come from Victoria, BC, and I went to high school in Esquimalt. So after applying for local colleges in my, in my hometown of Victoria, I decided I wanted to apply to UBC. Even though I knew it wasn't financially possible, I knew I was capable of taking that, that step to come here to UBC. And my main motivation to do this was, for one, to enjoy the diversity of this campus, and secondly, to study at such a prestigious school and such a prestigious program was a, a huge motivation and something I was able to look forward to. My name is Nico Andrianos, and I'm studying Integrated Engineering here at UBC. UBC is unique because it offers this integrated engineering program, which other universities do not. I want to utilize my knowledge to make energy and technology more sustainable and attainable for all different people of all different backgrounds and all different social economical classes. And I think pursuing my passion of nuclear fusion will make that possible. I received a call from Student Services, one of my financial advisors. He called me and had great news for me saying, Nico, you've won this Centennial Leader Scholarship Award. And when that moment I heard that, I, I was in disbelief. I, I couldn't even respond to him. I didn't know what to say. I was, I was in shock. And from that moment, I knew this is going to change everything. First thing I did was call my dad and I told my dad, I said, Dad, like, you're not going to believe this. Like, I've won a full ride scholarship. You know, most people have tears of joy. And, but my dad and I, we were, we're very energetic people. We had kind of like a scream of joy. We were just yelling at each other back on the phone. With, it's like not only did this award affect me and allow me to feel excited. It made my whole family ecstatic. It, it quite literally changed our lives. I would say the donors, you're superheroes. You are not only impacting students and most importantly their families, you're impacting society. You're making the next generation of leaders here at UBC and in society. I thank them and I will thank them forever for their support. With your support, graduate and undergraduate students will have access to the resources they need change their world so that they can change ours.